so you've probably seen from the other videos that Percy does like to jump up a bit. Um, so I'm going to start teaching Percy um, a signal of non-reward, that means he doesn't get um, the reward for jumping up, but it also is a bit of a choice game as well. Um, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to have a pot of treats, I'm going to walk towards Percy. Um, if Percy jumps up at me, I'm going to be quite exciting, so he might choose not to do this because he knows it. If he sits, he gets a reward. Um, so I'm just going to see if he will do it. Um, so let's see what he does. Are you ready? What have I got? What have I got? What have I got? Oh dear. Good boy. So as you can see, he thought about it and then he made the right choice. Now, if he had jumped up properly, I would have just removed the reward and said, oh dear, until he made the right choice, which is the dodgy sit on the floor. Um, and then I just reward him for being in that position. So let's see if we can get him to do it again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh dear! Good boy! Good choice! Well done! That's amazing! Good boy! Super lad! So what you can do is have pots of treats around the house so that whenever you are going towards your dog um, and you can have your pot of treats to start with, whenever you go towards them and they jump up, straight away you've got your old deer and then you can reward them and then as you walk away you just sprinkle some fish food on Okay, good boy. Um, sprinkle some food on the floor, too many choice games there. Um, sprinkle some food on the floor and walk away um, so, that he, um, so that they are loving the floor rather than jumping up at you. We're making the floor and this sit position the best position in the world. Having four feet on the floor, either in a sit or a stand, is much more rewarding than jumping up. So moving on from there, we also talked about how you can do it when you're out and about one of the big things that puppies do is they jump up at people because they're or young dogs do they jump up at people because they're super excited to see them um so we're actually going to teach percy to sit on the word hello um which we started last week so how we literally just do this is we're going to take just a few steps forward hello good boy brilliant come on kid so i'm just luring him into position hello Good boy, brilliant. So I say the word, come on kid. Hello. Yes, good boy, good lad, well done. So eventually we will get to the stage, hello, good boy. That when I say hello, when I'm out and about, um, he should sit on command. Um, again, you build this up with low distractions in the, in the house. You would then just practice this out on a walk. Um, and um, eventually when we practice this in the field, we'll be doing shaking hands and things like that to see if they stay in that sit. The nice thing about this is most of the time with jumping up, we give the dog attention when they jump up, either out on a walk or in the house. And what I mean by that is when they jump up, we go, no, off, stop it, stop it, get off. And what we're saying to the dog by teaching them hello, when we are at, um, teaching them to sit on hello, we've already got them into that reinforcing, reinforced position before they get a chance to jump up. And we can keep reinforcing that. That makes that position more fun and more valuable than actually jumping up at other people. I hope that makes sense and we'll do some more of that over the next couple of weeks. Thank you.